What is your idea of a dream wedding? Um, um, uh, right on a lake. There has to be some sort of dancing. Right in front of Cinderella's Castle at Disney World. Beachy things and seafood. Everyone would drink champagne out of Erlenmeyer flasks. <laughs> on top of a mountain. On top of a mountain, why? I don't know, just pretty cool overlooking the rest. It's like you're getting married on top of the rest of the world. Oh, that's so sweet. Hope your wife likes heights. Okay, I'm a little <laughs> blindsided by this. I'm not even <laughs> Ideally, it would be low budget, but I know myself better than that, and I would definitely exceed. I do have fancy taste, and I mean, you only get married once. Ever since I was little, I always had this vision of what my wedding was going to be like. Everything from the flowers to the bridesmaids dresses and even the first dance have been in the back of my mind for as long as I can remember. Though I'm nowhere near ready for marriage, I've recently noticed how publicized weddings have become over the last couple of years. And not just your typical plain and traditional weddings, but over the top extravagant weddings making it so much easier for any woman to get caught up in the hype of having their own perfect fairy tale. So now I'm left wondering. Are women truly in love with their fiancés, or more with the idea of having an extravagant wedding? In this case, I had absolutely no idea how I would even start answering this question, or what I would learn. But I was definitely up for the challenge. So my first stop, J West Bridal Shop in Haddonfield, New Jersey. This is a family-owned business. I'm second generation. Wow. My mom started the business 45 years ago. A lot of weddings, a lot yeah. of happy brides. Um, How, yeah. No? <laughs> well, no, I can't say they're not happy, but, you know, there's a, weddings are stressful. I think most girls now, because of social media, are doing their homework. And what websites um, are popular now for weddings? For I would say for brides, The Knot, and also Wedding Wire. They're going to tell you everything about what to do six months prior, what to do a week before your wedding. I think they kind of get caught up in the whole wedding, um, what do you want to call it, the whole wedding <laughs> process. process, yeah. The whole thought of getting married and everything. I think it's every girl, little girl's dream and this is becoming reality that I think they, they get wrapped up into it and it kind of all settles down and they hopefully realize what the importance of the day is. Though many trends have changed, some never seem to get old, especially not the cake. Lucky for me, I had the chance to visit Italian People's Bakery in Trenton, New Jersey to find out more about this commonality. Heather Pay has been in the baking industry for 25 years, and with that experience, I knew she had worked with many kinds of brides. Um, another, one of the things we get um, from a lot of cable television shows, people will see these cakes and come in with photos that they found things on the internet and it's a five tier cake and then they'll tell us that they're only serving 50 people and they only have $100 to spend on the cake. If you're in the industry, the standard is three to four dollars per person per serving. They say no, I pay this. I say no, you don't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I also had the chance to catch up with Matt Guagliardo, manager of the bakery, to see what he thought of today's wedding trends. Decorators, you know, they go through a lot of labor, a lot of uh, work. I mean, it could take up to a week to build a perfect wedding cake sometimes. Do you feel as though today um, women are more in love with the idea of getting married or with their fiancés? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a, that's a tough question. I really, I don't know. When they come in to order a wedding cake, you know, everything's still new. And with that, I wanted to really see what went through the mind of a bride-to-be. So I decided to pay my good friend, Sherilyn Barbone, a visit to see how she plans to prepare for her big day. Now, how did he pop the question? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, Jeff had gotten me a tour of Yankee Stadium for Christmas as one of my gifts. There were four stops on the tour, and the third stop on the tour was actually overlooking the entire field, right out in center field. Um, and our tour guide had said it would be great for pictures. So he said, um, can you take our pictures? So the tour guide said, yeah. And um, he's like, actually, can you take a lot of pictures? So Jeff grabbed my hand and got down on one knee and proposed in front of the tour and with the stadium in the background. I think women are definitely in love with the idea of getting married, especially with Pinterest and Twitter and Facebook and 
my whole thing is like people are posting pictures that are fake but I think the people who are really in love and, and who really do love their fiancés are people who don't have to share that with the entire world. So when you get married one day, how many people you think you're going to have in your bridal party? Uh, zero. No. <laughs> Finally, I thought it'd be interesting to hear from another one of my good friends, Jen Maldonado, on her experience as a former bridesmaid. My brother got married on July 8th, 2011. and. Honestly, it was my first time being a bridesmaid. It was fabulous and all, but I feel like it was just like a giant circus. There was about 36 of us. So I just kind of felt like, I don't know, I feel like with a wedding, like it's supposed to be, you know, obviously special, most important day of your life. And I just felt like I was just part of like this whole show and I was just another prop and I didn't feel like special that I was asked because it was like me and all these other people who I didn't even know. So it was just kind of, it was a lot. Like all together, their wedding was like $100,000. And I just find that ridiculous. I'd rather spend that money somewhere else. Like, it's just for one day. It's safe to say that women today are definitely influenced by what they see through the media. But from what I can tell, true love still exists. It's just finding the right person to share that special day with. So will extravagant weddings ever go out of style? In my opinion, it's just the beginning of yet another bridal era. <laughs>